sorry I was on the phone so long, but there are now huge problems with the merger Father and I are working on. He, I've never seen Daddy so upset before. I mean, he may need to fax me something here. I tried to calm him down, but he's going ballistic. I worry about your father when he gets like this. I mean, the doctor told him that stress is just not good for his high blood pressure. Well, is there anything I can do as a lawyer to help matters? Oh, sweetheart, thank you for offering, but this is something my father really wants to work out himself. Maybe once you're his son-in-law, he'll let you in on some of the action. What a fine son-in-law you'll be. Oh, it was so frazzled having spoken to father, I just realized you and Ivy were here. Why? We're here to see Teresa. Why, did something happen to her while I was on the phone? No. But I think it's about to. Ethan, what, what's going on? I'll tell you. Look, Gwen, what I have to tell you concerns you and Teresa. I warned you that the housekeeper's daughter has been after Ethan, and it looks like she may have just nabbed him. Look, Gwen, will you no, just... No, sweetheart, me... sweet, innocent little girl has been pretending to be dying so that she can get Ethan to kiss her and declare his love for her. Mother, would you just stop with these accusations of yours are outrageous? Gwen, if you just let me explain no, what No, Mother, I, said... I explained this to you at the florist already. Teresa was in a horrible accident. Look, the nurse told me if Ethan didn't do what he did, Teresa would have died. She's not faking her own death to get close to Ethan. Teresa's not like that. Yes, she is. No, Mother, she's not. Teresa is one of the most caring and kind and, and honest people I know. If you believe that, you are blind. Mother, Gwen, stop blind. it. You have taken a minor incident and completely blown it out of proportion. You know, if I didn't know better, I would think that you were trying to wreck my wedding by trying to convince Ethan that I am some sort of insecure debutante, insanely jealous of any woman he even talks to. I am trying to get you to see what is really going on here. Look, if, if we could just calm down and discuss this like mature adults. What is to discuss? Maybe we should all just leave. Go home and talk at home. No. no mother, I'm, I want to get this over with right here and now, once and for all. Even before you say anything, I, I have something I need to tell Teresa. Teresa, I want to apologize for what my mother just said. She gets these weird ideas in her head sometimes. Gwen, don't make me out to be a lunatic. I know what I am talking about. No, mother, you don't. Teresa is my friend. I already explained this to you. The guy Teresa is in love with, dumped her last winter, and she's been suffering ever since. Ethan kissed her and pretended to be her ex-boyfriend because it's what he needed to do to save her life after the accident. Ethan was acting nobly, and that's all. Why can't you just see things at face value and stop causing trouble? Because I have learned that everything is not as it seems, and this is a good case in point. Well, I'm afraid I have to disagree with you, Rebecca. Teresa is not some scheming vixen out to land herself a rich husband. I know her. She works for me. I know her inside and out. Teresa is not after Ethan. And my son is not interested in her. Ivy's right, Mother. Ethan is not interested in Teresa. In fact, just before I was on the phone with Daddy, Ethan was telling me just how much he loves me. Okay, let's settle this once and for all, shall we? Why don't you ask Teresa who Ethan loves? Go on, Gwen. Ask her. <sighs> Teresa, I hate to put you on the spot like this. Does, does Ethan love you? Well, Teresa, will you please tell my mother and, and everyone else the truth? Does Ethan love you? Teresa's still recovering from her accident. She needs her rest. This is not a good time to talk. Mama, it's okay. 
I'm feeling better, and and I want to answer Gwen's question. Hold on tight, because we are about to hit turbulence. No, Gwen. Ethan doesn't love me. Are you satisfied now, Mother? No, I'm not. I want to hear it from Ethan. Do you or do you not love Teresa? You know, really, Rebecca, I am tired of you grilling my son as if he's guilty of some sort of wrongdoing. So am I. But I am sorry that my mother's being such a pain. But Ethan, will you just please tell her that everything is fine and that our wedding is going to go as scheduled? What? You do love Gwen, don't you? Yes, I yes I do. Well, there, you have your answer, Rebecca. Church bells will ring. Enough of this nonsense. Look, would everyone just listen to me? Look, I've been trying to say something for a while now, and I keep getting interrupted. I need to tell you about a decision I've made. A very important decision. Okay. Damn these interruptions. Ethan, I'm sorry, but it could be Daddy. He was so upset last time, I can't not answer. Hello? What? Oh my God. I'll tell her. Gwen, what, what is it? It's Danny. Danny just had a heart attack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I knew this would happen. I keep telling him to not let his business upset him like this. What? what, what, what how, how bad was the attack? Where is he know. now? The doctor didn't say how bad it was. He was just rushed to the hospital near our home. I don't know. But I'll take you and your mother to the hospital. No, they said only family right now. Oh, why, that doesn't sound very good, does it? That just doesn't sound good at all. Try not to worry, Rebecca. Really, everything is going to be fine. Ethan, I'm going to go. I'll call you later and let you know what happened. Well, I'm sorry it took Gwen's father having a heart attack, but I am relieved at the way things turned out here. Teresa, I'm glad you're feeling better. Thank you, Mrs. Crane. I'm leaving now. I just hope Gwen's father will be well enough to see you marry his daughter. I know how much that day means to me. So what did you decide to do, man? Did you choose Gwen? Or Teresa? Man, I... I can't hurt Gwen. Her father just had a heart attack. Oh, man. If he doesn't pull through, she's gonna need me more than ever. I can't walk out on her. Oh, I hear what you're saying, man, but... Yo, what about Teresa? You can't walk out on her either. Now, she was so ripped up the thought of losing you, man, that she went and had an accident on Miguel's motorcycle. Damn near died, too. All right, and the only reason she's alive right now is because you finally admitted that you loved her. How's she gonna take it if you choose Gwen? I'd made my decision. But now... Now what? I just, I need to wait before this goes any further. Yeah, that makes sense. Yo, just follow your heart. No matter what. 